What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the beginning of another travel vlog. It's been a while since we've been on the road vlogging. So we got Scott now, we're going down with Dom. We're meeting Maddie and Grant and Riccio, another guy from our company, down in Columbus. We're headed to the Arnold, so we're going to be there for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're going to be trying to find a gym to train at. It's not crazy busy. We'll be watching the Arnold. Hopefully, we'll see Jansen and Brett. Hopefully, kill it up there. Watch the show, have some fun. We're going to meet through the meet and greet. I get to do a. Uh, interview type seminar with Arnold Schwarzenegger, which is dope. I've never really met him, so I'm really excited for that. But we're going to have a fun weekend, document it all, have some fun, and I'll bring you guys along for the ride. So, and as I always say, Jed is not mine. You know, very lucky. The boy Don back here, this is Jed. He lives in Boca, I believe, and he was flying down to the Arnold for some business stuff, and he's like, hey, I got an extra seat. You guys want to join? We're like, duh. So here we are, taking the trip. Arnold will be there in a few hours, so catch up with Yo, Dom. Dom. Dom Nick. Do you want to come with me to Ottawa? You can go back to Canada. No. They go, they fly to Ottawa. Oh, fuck you. I'm not going back. <laughs> Sadly, I am. Too. Beautiful. Oh, it's almost like you're home. I, uh, I actually love this weather. Do you? I've been so hot in Florida lately, and it's fucking February. This is just like, you know, your hair looks good. You're not, not inflamed. That's cool. You're not sweating. Beautiful. Track reds. <laughs> Leave it to Jansen. This is like, is this your Michael Jordan ritual? Yeah. Did you, did you, <laughs> no, he, do you hear, he had to lace up his own shoes. He'd have a brand new pair of shoes and lace them up himself every game because it was his ritual that just like, is like meditation that got him in the zone. And someone laced his shoes up for him once and he made them go buy him another pair of shoes. So he could lace them himself. <laughs> yeah. This guy's an animal. <laughs> What's going on uh, guys, day one here at the Arnold, Friday. Bit of a busy day, we had one meeting last night with Dom with some manufacturers or distributors overseas, which I think a lot of you guys will be very excited about. And today we have another meeting and then I'm doing a seminar with Hany, 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 Hany Rambod. He's gonna be kind of asking me some questions in front of a panel of people. And then I'm doing a photo shoot with Big Rammy and then, or meet and greet, sorry, and then a meet and greet which is myself and people. So it's gonna be a busy day, lots of stuff. We're also going to watch the show tonight because Matt's client, Brett, is competing. It looks absolutely crazy and they're super excited. He's chill, happy. That's how you want to be on show day. So we're going to watch that tonight. But yeah, it's pretty much all we got going on. It's going to be a busy day, running through it all. Scott's going to be taking along, kind of showing the process. So I'll see you guys around. back right now because we're early we've been very early normally i'm late for everything but we're being punctual i'm three-time olympian now i have to be a little punctual but walking through the crowd it's just hard to make it anywhere so we're hiding in a back little room right now we're about to do a seminar with honey and yeah i have no idea what we're going to talk about what's even happening I'm literally coming into the super blind so hopefully it works hopefully it's fun that's it Yeah, yeah, I'll be there to watch it, so yeah, yeah. see you later. Awesome. Yeah. 
I'll go rest. Yeah. You're looking in the off-season more, bro. Yeah, I'm a little chubby. Yeah. Right <laughs> good That's sandwiches right like there, bro. Hey, bro. How you doing? Good to see you. Good luck. Yeah, we're doing like a little seminar and then a photo. Six one nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> a Batista bomb. <laughs> you and me next year. Yeah. 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 I'll say, oh, I'm not a bomb. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, you too, man. I'm happy. You're cool. What's your phone? Because he he said he saw it on social. He said, you know you're doing a seminar? I go, I don't think anyone else knows. No one, no one, everyone who's sitting here is eating Chick-fil-A. They don't even know. Really? Welcome to the organized show. You know? Yeah, I got like I've sort of like deja vu, like nerves. I feel like I'm about to walk on stage. I'm like, I'm not fucking ready. <laughs> not shaved, not tan, hairy and fat on stage. <laughs> Good thing I'm keeping my clothes on this time. What's everybody doing this afternoon? You guys can do better than that. We got Chris Mumps and Honey Rambo coming out in just a little bit. How's everybody doing? Yeah. Olympia champion, Chris Bumstead. Yeah. What's up, Columbus? Can you touch a little bit, about, little bit more about what you do to try to balance out the bodybuilding lifestyle? Because bodybuilding is almost 24-7, right? It's meal to meal and all those things. Do you take breaks? Do you guys go on vacation? Do you guys do things to be able to kind of break it up a little bit to try to find balance? Yeah, I mean, we definitely have a decent balance. And like I said, this is new now. Obviously, when you start something, you're like, oh, like, I can't take a day off the gym, rest day. How do I take a rest day? And I think everyone gets to a point in there training career where they just can't even imagine not going to the gym for a day. And I was like that for a while, but the longer I was doing this and the more like pressure that was on the gym, I started, you can almost lose your love for it because it becomes more of a job and this expectation of what you have to be there. So for me to detach from that, I do stuff, like I said, after the Olympia every year now, I just take months off working out. Me and Courtney just hang out. We went on a few trips this year, go back to Canada, I saw my family, just little things that can bring me back to just like my safe space at home and my, like my, my, my grounding level, I guess you could say. You're also now, somewhat like me, a business owner. So now you're involved with actually ownership in your own brand. Is that something that you wanted to do so that you design your own products? Or was it because you wanted to also just be able to have say in what the brand's doing in all aspects of it? Uh, can you go down that little bit of road with us? There's a little bit of all of that. I've always been, passionate on like marketing, branding, and that's what I kind of try to do with my own brand. And then being a sponsored athlete by many companies, like every company has their flaws, but there's something that there was a disconnect between like the consumers and the business and everything that I wasn't really happy of or always wanted to be a part of. And I never wanted to own a supplement business. It's the headache, as you know. There's a lot of shit that goes in behind the doors. But now that I'm in that position, I just, it was something I wanted to set up for my long-term career, but it's also something right now where I'm really excited where I can do more cool things for my fans and followers who like follow me or the brand or whatever, and I can focus on giving back to them, doing events for myself and stuff that people actually want to see rather than just like pumping out fat burners that no one wants to use, you know, that kind of stuff. So it's been really fun, and it's I, I think long-term, in like life overall. I like to live in the moment, but still plan for the long-term. Obviously bodybuilding is forever, so if I'm gonna be Doing this, promoting other people's brands, it might as well be something I'm in control, something that I love every part. Just a moment. How about one more big round of applause for Chris Bumstead and Bonnie Brett. Thank you guys so much for attending. We can't wait to see everybody tonight over at the Hotel Green Theater at 7 p.m. That's good. <laughs> Quick 
update. Will. Quick update. This is like gonna get copyright bag my bagpipe music. All right, so we just wrapped up the photo shoot here after the seminar. Did I already talk about the seminar? Yeah. No, I didn't. So I did a se seminar, Q and A conversation, whatever with Hani up there. And it was a lot of fun. Hani's actually a really good speaker. I hope you can hear me right now. Hani's a really good speaker and good at asking questions. So it was a lot of fun, and it was actually a lot of people out there. And it was super cool. I kind of reflected on how shitty I used to be at talking in front of people and how I'm like an introvert and I hate crowds. And I've just gotten naturally better through practice and going through hard times. So I'm grateful to be in an opportunity where I can be better at talking and that people want to listen to what the fuck I have to say. So so we just, like, Dom's rushing it together. But we wrapped that up, did the pictures, and now we're heading over to autograph signing and then we're going to work out. So, yeah, that's it. Alright, so we wrapped up the signatures, autographs, whatever section of this. Stuff is spread out, so like we walk around from expo to signatures to food and around and stuff like that. We like have stopped like a hundred times. So I think it takes us like an hour to walk 50 yards. But that's why we're here this weekend. So right now we're trying to hit to the gym. Some ominous music. Welcome home to your atrium lofts and your Frankenstein music. But yeah, we're going to Powerhouse Gym right now, which is probably a horrible idea. Probably going to be a shit show in there. But we have no other choice because we want to see Brett get on stage and it's the only gym that's close by. So we're going to try and get a quick workout in and then head straight to the show and see if we can catch Brett on stage. And I kind of want to see the end of Classic Zeke because you guys look nutty. Absolutely insane. Urz Ramon, Breon, Terrence, all look insane. So I'd love to see it in person, see who takes it out on top. But yeah, we're going to go train, so... So Scott's gonna pan over the gym right now. There's no chance we're going there. Zero. That's not happening. We're not working out today. Dude, what's up, guys? So, didn't happen. <laughs> the kind of gym you're looking for? This fucking nap right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we did find a gym. And this is a godsend right now. There's no one in here. There's a few people downstairs. Dead up here. I literally think I'm going to lie on this couch and just sleep. I'm so tired. But I know I'm probably not going to train tomorrow. So I'm going to try and get in a quick chest pump right now. Still push what I can. And then I'll hit it again next week. A little harder. You can fund it. You can be the one member and I'll charge like ten thousand dollars a month for membership and Don's the only member. <laughs> Alright, so obviously these workouts aren't going to be the Mr. Olympia hardcore workouts, but we're making it work considering the longest day I had. So, did like five sets on incline weights because it felt good. And these aren't going to be days I go for PRs, I'm so like. Jesus! Grant's breaking shit over there. Oh, oh stop it, stop it. <laughs> but yeah, so obviously I'm not going to be hitting PRs because I'm going to hurt myself because I'm so tight and tired right now. So, just kind of do I did a triple drop set over there, a little bit lighter weight than normal, like more sets, more volume in sets because I don't want to look around for machines either so I'm just going to adapt in the workout to whatever I see that's open in front of me.
Chest workout, incline press with flies. That's all you need. Do that. All right, so wrapping up the day now, I'm absolutely, I can't even talk, absolutely exhausted. Best part of the night was we got on some birds or limes or the electric scooters and ripped through the city to get to our hotel. Always the funnest thing, I don't care how old you are, those things are always fun. But we went to the show, we watched some of it. Um, Brett didn't do as we were all hoping. I'm sure Matt and him are a little bummed out, but he's so young and he's so new to this. He came, he was first call out still at the Arnold, which is a crazy accomplishment. So something to be proud of and more room to work. Terrence won as I expected him to win classic. Ramon came second. I thought Urz was gonna win, but he killed it. He looked amazing. He deserved that second place. So shout out to Ramon, killed it. Same with Urz, looked awesome. Brian's it looked good too, but maybe it was a little bit off. I didn't really see it all. I just saw the finals. But overall, it was a great day. Glad I got to meet a bunch of people. Banged through a lot of people, did a bunch of signatures, had a grand old time, and we get to wake up and do it again tomorrow. Luckily, I don't start until later in the day, so I think we're going to try and wake up, get breakfast and train, and actually have a real workout in the morning, and then go on with the day from there. And then I think we're going to, I don't even know if I'm going to make it to the final. I keep looking at Scott that you know what I'm doing tomorrow, but I, you, I, <laughs> neither of us know what we're doing. But we'll figure it out tomorrow in the next video, but for now, it's a wrap on this. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.